watching Rogers TV. show today. We're talking today about the Canada Strong campaign that you have started and I'd love to just start by thanking you for that. It's been such an inspiring thing to see that pop up all over social media, to see you know people I know um, and love and care about supporting that cause as well. Um, can you share a little bit about how that got started and what you're hoping it will achieve? Well, sure. So initially when this all came down, we, you know, we were coming out of our slow season into our busy season. So we were a little bit panicked. We had to lay off all 45 of our staff and, you know, we kind of had to take a deep breath and think, how are we going to get through this? What are we going to do? And the big thing for me as a business owner is, you know, I'm third generation and, you know, there wasn't a lot going on for small businesses. So, you know, it was twofold for me. Number one, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we had the support uh, to help bring some back to our, some of our staff, but also to create some awareness for small businesses because it just wasn't out there. So that's kind of where it started and the foundation behind it was to get people working again and of course raise a lot of awareness. That's fantastic. So for those, for those who haven't seen yet what Canada Strong is all about, what exactly is the process of how people are participating and, and the benefits of it? Yeah, so basically, uh, it's a it's a new apparel line that we launched uh, with Canon Strong logo. We've got some more logos coming out soon. Um, and how it works is every sale, we donate 10% back to a fund for small businesses. Uh, we also created a fund for frontline workers as well. But for the small business ones, uh, we're asking any small business to jump in and participate. So if you own a small business, you can jump in and participate. Every referral that you send us, you get 10% of the sales back to your business, plus we donate 10% into a fund. So once we get uh, up through the first month, which we're almost at now, we're going to ask all the submissions of the nominated companies to send us a story of why they deserve that fund. Uh, and then we're going to let the, the public decide on who gets the fund. And we're hoping to send a nice check to a small business and hopefully pay the rent for a few months. That's beautiful. And so what has the response been so far? It's been I, tremendous. Yeah. Do you want to share numbers? <laughs> it's, it's big. We've got well over 10,000 raised. Um, between small businesses and frontline, I think it's about 50-50. So um, I'm hoping by the end of the month, it's about 15 or 20,000 total, which is super exciting. Uh, we've shipped to every province in Canada. We've shipped to tons of different businesses. There's lots of businesses jumping on board. Uh, so it's, it's super exciting and it just keeps growing. So that's really remarkable. I'm, I'm going to guess you probably didn't think it would get this big so fast. <laughs> Well, I'm an internal optimist. So if you ask me, yeah. team, they it was going to be huge, but they uh, they bring me back down a level and said, no, it might not be, but uh, it has been as big as, as we hoped and, and we're hoping it's going to get bigger. Yeah. Is there any, you know, story so far that you wanted to share with our audience today? Well, uh, probably the most inspiring story is our new COVID warrior socks we just launched. We partnered with uh, Dr. Roger, uh, Rod, Roderick Lim in London here. Uh, he came up with the design of socks and uh, he contacted us to see if we could help produce them. So we, uh, we sold over a thousand pairs in the first two days. Wow. Now almost to 2,500 pairs in less than a week. And we're donating 10% uh, of that back to frontline workers. And then we're going to take another 10% of that and, uh, and add more socks to give back to frontline workers. That's incredible. So right now with your business, have you shifted to online? Was that something you had before? Is there a way that people can still, you know, shop with you even from their home? Absolutely. Yeah, we're doing clothing consultations. We just launched a new virtual wedding consultations because we've got a ton of weddings being, you know, postponed and, and brides not knowing what to do. So we're doing uh, five to 10 Zoom calls a week so far, and we only see it growing. But it's kind of neat to, to talk to brides and grooms and get their perspective. And we dress up mannequins and <laughs> doing everything that we did before, but just over, over Zoom chat. So it's, it's so much has changed in our business, but you know we're offering our clients free try-on. So if they want to try something on to make sure it's a perfect fit, we're sending them free suits to try on, and we're trying to do the best we can to accommodate brides. And uh, you know the next step is is proms and grads. We've got something coming up exciting for that. So uh, we'll see uh, see how that goes. That's amazing. Well, I mean, three generations in a business. I'm sure those who have come before you have seen a lot of different shifts in the business. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, you've had conversations with, you know, some of the people who've, who've been there for so long or, or at the beginning about something like this. Is this kind of a first for, for the family? This is definitely a first. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We've gone through a lot and we've been through a lot, but nothing, uh, nothing like this. We were ramping up for one of our biggest seasons ever because of 2020 it was a big year and a lot of our uh, local competitors have closed. So we were ramping up for a big, big year, anticipating a you know magical year for once. 
and this this happened. So, but it's all good. We're, we'll get through it. Our staff are super supportive. We've got uh, eight people back. We've got six people sewing, you know, so it's all positive signs now and, and we're looking forward to come out of the stronger on the other side. Absolutely. I mean, this may, this, I think is a big year for you, <laughs> just in a way you didn't expect. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, something different. Yeah. That's, that's the main thing, right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and for doing everything you are, not just for our local economy and community, but for Canada. That's, that's really heartwarming. And, and I appreciate that as does everyone else. So thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.